Refreshing, refreshing everyone. Thank you so much, guys. Um, good evening. Hello, hello, everyone out there. So today, guys, um, I just want to share a few things about um, why we need to work hard this year. We have a huge task this year. As a nation, as individuals we have got a lot to do this year why because if you can look we will find that this year we did not receive enough rainfall if you can agree with me i'm sure the whole nation if not the whole africa then the whole nation therefore as an individual you yourself you have to know that whatever money that you are getting, you need to invest. Whatever that money that you are getting, you need to be wise enough like a snake. You need to be wise enough like a termite. Why did I say so? Because a termite um, know the season know how to store their food you know if you have seen a termite you agree with me that they work very very well together and they store their food during summer and put down together and store for the next season but us as individuals we tend to not to know about tomorrow we tend to ignore about the future so this video will enlighten you uh, that you need to save for tomorrow whatever that small amount that you are getting don't complain put aside the small money and save learn to save right this year we are heading into drought, into a serious drought. I can say we are already in serious drought. Therefore, we need to make sure that whatever we are getting, we must uh, invest in serious things and know very, very well that what are we investing into. For example, if you get money today, it is not wise for someone to buy a cow. Why? Because cows are facing a serious drought. So many cows are dying right now because of hunger. There is serious, serious uh, dry, there is serious hunger and drought all over unless if you can buy the food the supplements you feed them uh, up until to the next season 
So, we need to be very wise. We need to know what we must do. So, this year we did not receive rainfall. We need to work hard. I can uh, simply say, this is a year of sacrifice. Why am I saying so? It's because we need to sacrifice a lot in the sense that we must not forget people in the village right now. If you are now in town, you are in urban areas, wherever you are, you are in diaspora, this is the high chance, this is the high time to think about people in the village where you come from. Why? Because they are the ones who are facing these challenges. So, guys, we, we need to sacrifice for our parents, whosoever is a, a back home in our village. This is not the time of flashing money. This is not time of um, showing off um, whatever we have. No. Whatever small that we are getting, learn to buy food for your parents back home. This is a year of sacrifice. We need to sacrifice for our kids back home. We need to sacrifice for our parents back home. Because we need to send food because they did not get anything. Therefore, we need to balance the two. Whatever salad that you are getting right now, think about yourself, think about your other, other one back home. After paying the rentals, whatever the man that you are left with, think about someone next to you. Because this is a year to sacrifice. This is a year to sacrifice. Of sacrificing. <laughs> yes, so I can say, I can safely say, that the other business that you can think about now, when it is time of hunger like this, when it is time for drought, because remember, we are not expecting any form of uh, aid from anyone. Whether from government or wherever, we are not expecting anything from anyone. Learn to stand by yourself and face the situation. Now, the, uh, the business that I can encourage one to do, if you have an access to um, water, do fishing. Create a pond for yourself and put fish inside. Put the supplements inside and you make a lot of business, therefore. You know, people right now, they are suffering People right now, they don't know where to start. They don't have one, they don't have food, they don't have relish. So, if you can create uh, something tangible for them, if you can create, um, if you can provide with fish, that is a good idea. Then that's making money. And again, you can also invest on goods. Goods, they are good source of income where you can also make money. Because they cannot be easily affected by the uh, drought. Why? Because they are small, small, um, they are small animals, domestic animals. Therefore, we can also invest on that. They are also drought resistant. So you can 
actually go into that and invest in growth whenever if it is uh, those uh, goats which are not uh, which need supplements feed them feed them go for that and uh, put some supplements and you see that you have a lot of money if it is this one uh, the one that we are used to uh, the our a natural goats that you know uh, our usually ordinary a goats go for go for it you better sell your go your 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 cow and buy the goats now then the more you do that then you can actually uh, as time goes on you buy you buy your, your cow your keku as time goes on because this is not not the right time to have cow I'm not saying you can sell all of them. No. Try to minimize because we cannot predict the future. We don't know what's co coming. So, whatever happened last year, we don't know what is going to happen next year. So, this is the time to invest in things that matters. Right? Um this is why I said this is a year to sacrifice. This is a year um, to know what to do. Um, we need uh, to create a mindset of business. Everyone must be mind a business literate. We need to learn business. We need to invest on things that matters. So this is why I was saying that we need to sacrifice. We need to work hard. We need to work hard. So thank you so much, guys. Let's meet again in my next episode. Let's calculate. Let's predict our future. Let's know where to invest what to invest whatever you are doing don't forget to send people in the village thank you